you know, my mum was a, a real feminist, and and a, and she sort of taught me as a as a woman that you know you you know you need to stand up. And you know, I I looked at the stats, and I looked at you know the coalition had for like the last 25 years had never got above 25% representation in the lower house, and I was like. That just does not work for me. You know, I don't need some men to tell me, you know, um, that they're looking after me. I think women need to be in the room. And, the same, and that's not just about women, it's about diversity and you know, the true representation of Australia should be in Parliament. So I think it was a really major issue and I think it's super exciting that this Parliament is the most um, reflective of the community in terms of ethnicity, in terms of gender um, that we've ever had, and 44% of people in Parliament are now women. And that is that just jumped up from 36% the previous Parliament and 30% the previous Parliament before that. So I think that's a super exciting change and I think women had just had enough. Mm. <laughs> so, Adam... If this is a permanent shift, all the, if all of these things we're talking about are a permanent shift, there, there are people who say the two-party system provides ballast, you know, it's sort of stability and that if there are too many little independents and small parties that it's, it's going to be destabilising. What, Adam, your response to that? How, how well could independents and minor parties work together or do they lose their independence if they start to do that? Does it does it sort of naturally not, not function in the way you, you might like it to? We, um, we bring new and different ideas to Parliament and that's what people are craving. Like people, and it comes back to that point that I was saying about the big issues not being tackled. Like people want new thinking and um, that's what we're bringing. And one of the things that I really like about the... And we're seeing this... And, you know, Cathy will know this because we... Um, uh, sat together on the crossbench for a while and now it's, it's expanded, but, but you know, a vote will happen in Parliament, we'll come in, we'll have a chat with each other to make sure everyone understands what's happening and then everyone goes and votes their different ways. Mm. And it's not because that reflects their communities. And um, I think there's this sense that politics will be better if there are more voices that are then committed to having a dialogue, a respectful dialogue with each other, even if you end up disagreeing. And it's the lack of that that has been the problem. And you know, one of the things we saw during the election campaign, especially in Queensland, was um, you had, we've had this terrible government that needed to be turfed out, and then you had an opposition Labor Party that was going around saying, they're terrible, but we just like them. Um, there's no difference between us on the economic questions and, um, and on some others. You, you don't need refugees. to be afraid. Refugees. Mm. And people heard that message... And it was one of the things that was consistently being fed back to us when we were having our conversations with people was that, oh, well, if the current mob are so bad but the other one's saying they're not going to change that much, then why should I vote for them? And we were there putting an alternative. And, you know, you get to meet um, a number of interesting people in this job and I've met quite a few uh, representatives of other governments and um, from embassies and many of them have all said that, oh, we expect that this may well be the last majority government that Australia sees um, for a very long time. And uh, that may well be the case. And I think that's going to put the... And I think what you see overseas is in, in those parliaments where... And you don't have to look far, go to New Zealand, where in those parliaments where there are more than one party involved in governing the country, where you put the effort into having the dialogue and saying, well, where can we agree? Um, where we disagree, how are we going to agree to manage our differences? That's what people want. And, I, and I, think, I... I think that's... Like, if you talk about ballast... Sorry, I think I, just, just to round it off. Like, I actually think that would provide... That would go a long way to reconnecting people, right? Because, yes, you mm. say there's ballast and stability, but there's also massive distrust in politics and massive disconnect. And you want to reconnect people, um, show that on facing some of the big issues, people are prepared to work together. So, so yes, but it's, it's, I, want to, I want to value add to what you're talking about, Adam, because... The two-party system is sort of like old. <laughs> it's last century. It's been there for 100 years and the world has changed and Australia's changed. So we now need to think about, well, how do we actually deal with these wicked problems instead of just you or me and yes or no? And mm -hmm. so what I love about the diversity on the crossbench is the calibre of the people there. I have all, um, particularly the, 
on the community independence. They've run major organisations. They've dealt with wicked, of the wicked problems. They've brought people together, like you know Kylie Tink, for example, in her work. Fancy getting the Sydney cricket ground to go pink. Like any woman who can do that is just amazing. <laughs> so you put her into parliament, how she'll bring those skills to bear. And then you look at Monique Ryan, all the stuff that she's done at the peak of her profession in that very patriarchal, male-dominated um, health system, and she's worked wonders. So she's now in parliament, you know, Allegra, what you've done. <laughs> but I'm just saying that the skill of the people there now on that crossbench mm -hmm. and value added to the new Greens, um, you know, just they will do things in such a different way because they're in touch with modern Australia, modern business, and business works with complexity. Mm. Parliament has just been caught up in, in its, its dichotomy and got stuck in it, and that they haven't been able to move. Um, and it used to just so, so frustrate me. They, they used to talk about, oh, we don't cross the floor. And I said, well, what is this? Why are you so proud you don't cross the floor? It was a really big thing, whereas us crossbench were crossing the floor all the time. You know, we were making decisions on a, what was best for the country. So we were crisscrossing all over the place. So I have great hope that with this community independence movement and some of the Greens that you've done in Brisbane, and yourself included, the calibre of the people will be so much different and better than what we've currently got. And they will work in a 21st century Australian way. And the productivity will be just enormous. So. <laughs>